What runs 65 miles per hour in southern Wyoming? Pronghorn, America's fastest land animal. Beyond their speed, they are also known for long-distance migrations across vast landscapes. There used to be more than 20 million pronghorn across the prairies. Now they are down to 800,000, and half of those live in Wyoming. But pronghorn aren't the only thing that speeds across southern Wyoming. Interstate 80 is one of America's most important roads, but unfortunately, it fragments habitat for dozens of pronghorn herds. Wildlife collisions are a concern on the interstate, but the bigger problem is that pronghorn are cut off from places of refuge, especially during the winter. In bad years, they sometimes get hit because they are trying to cross to areas with less snow. Over time, the biggest problem is getting cut off from habitat. Ultimately, this lack of connectivity can limit the size and health of wildlife populations. I'm Ben Robb. I research ways to reconnect pronghorn habitat along Interstate 80 in Wyoming. One solution is wildlife crossing structures. Near Pinedale, Wyoming, biologists have found that pronghorn overpasses improve connectivity. Nevada and Utah have recently built wildlife bridges across I-80. These wildlife bridges cost millions to build, so they need to be put in places where wildlife will use them. One part of my research uses pronghorn GPS data to pinpoint the best sites for future overpasses on Interstate 80 in Wyoming. In the meantime, there are dozens of existing underpasses and bridges, but very few are designed with wildlife in mind. In my project, I used camera traps to identify if pronghorn are still able to use these structures to cross under the interstate. We're out here looking at different underpasses, and this one is for a mining road. This is a perfect location to put up a trail camera so we can monitor if pronghorn are actually coming through here. There are a lot of signs of animals, but the camera tells us exactly how many and when they move through. While mule deer sometimes cross the highway in surprising places, pronghorn need more open lines of sight. For example, we've documented one pronghorn crossing near Table Rock, but the vast majority of animals don't even try to cross I-80. That's because the crossings don't have wildlife-friendly fencing, and they aren't near existing movement corridors. All of this makes Interstate 80 a serious roadblock for pronghorn populations. This research will help to identify and potentially improve existing crossings for pronghorn. If they are finding ways through underpasses, maybe we can enhance them for better connectivity. We hope this work could be a roadmap for reconnecting big game habitat so people and wildlife can be safe and get to where they need to go.